think this is po quite possibly the best online shop I have ever done. Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to September, welcome to the autumn content. I am so excited that I am actually sat here in the coziest, coziest of knit, surrounded, and I mean surrounded, by autumn outfits. I have three big bags, one big box, and some cozy homeware. And if you are new here, my name is Beth. I am a mum of three. I'm also a stepmom. I've worked in fashion for the last eight years and my channel is basically outfit inspo and fashion ideas for you to help you look good, to help you feel confident and to give you some ideas of things to wear day to day. Now as I'm a mum, lots of things are casual, lots of things are easy to put together, very wearable and I'm all about a capsule wardrobe. If you want some ideas of some key pieces for autumn, if you are in need of coats, inspo, knitwear inspo, the perfect jeans, the perfect levy leggings, make sure you watch this video right till the end because you're not going to want to miss not one piece of this haul. So let's get straight into the video and let me share with you what I have. So I ordered an absolute ton of pieces from Misguided. We are talking like nearly a thousand pounds worth of clothes and also homeware from their new homeware section which you can see a little array of that behind me i'm going to show you in a little minute but before i show you anything else how insane is this huge oversized hand knitted cardigan and wait for it it has the biggest hood also how cute and cozy is this they had it in so many colours as well, but and I ordered the actual biggest size that was on the website. This is a size 18 because personally I just think with knitwear it just always looks better when it's bigger and oversized. I just think it always looks more expensive and with a jumper like this, a cardigan, any kind of knitwear, you want it big. You so this is the cardigan on. So glad that I sized up and got the bigger size because it just makes it look so much better. I love the hood on it. It's so easy to just slouch on, perfect with little boots, a cute little skirt, and then just a casual top underneath. I would definitely say don't wear anything high neck and try and wear something that's like sleeveless so you can kind of slouch it off your shoulders. It just looks a little bit more thrown together. So absolutely love this but definitely, definitely size up. Now you guys know I love an aviator coat and I wear my black one lows and I just thought, how cute is this one gonna be? It's like a cute beige color, it's slightly cropped, so it's slightly different to my other one. And I just thought, I know how much I wear my black aviator coat. I know I'm gonna wear this as well. Just oversized hoodies, leggings, it's just such an easy outfit to wear. But if you don't have an aviator coat in your wardrobe and you are wanting one, kind of staple coat to go in your wardrobe an aviator i'm telling you is the coat you should be choosing so let me give you an outfit idea of how i plan to wear this let's style this one up this coat is so cute on i love actually that it's slightly cropped i think it looks really nice with like a long line hoodie underneath and then it just has been a little bit more of a like boxy cropped fit it's a really easy and super warm autumn cozy little look much. One of my favourite outfits to wear in autumn, like super casual, is just a black oversized hoodie, some leather pants, a really cool pair of trainers. I had a pair from Misguided very similar to this last year and they were so good. They're the ones with the slit leg. They're high waisted, they zip at the side and the leather on them is so nice. It looks like really good quality. I did get a size 6 in these because Personally, I just think there's nothing worse than a pair of leather pants that are baggy on the bum or baggy on the legs. So let's pop these on and have a little look. So these are the leather pants on. They actually fit so good and they are so, so high-waisted. The slits are just right on the leg and I'm absolutely loving these. They are such a good find. And then I also got a pair that was slightly different. So these are more of a coated jean because again, such a good staple for autumn. I wear these so, so much with my Doc Martin boots, with knitwear, and they're just such an easy thing to wear. I got a six again because I don't want them to be too big. So let me show you. 
So these are jeans on that are really, really nice, high-waisted fit. They're actually not too tight at all. I would definitely recommend, if anything, a sizing down on these and actually still like kind of loose on me. So I think they're a big fit. But I just love them. They're a really nice fit on the legs. And these are just going to be such a staple in my autumn wardrobe. Cardigan. I always think like these slouchy cardigans that are like a really big boxy fit are just so, so lovely. And sometimes I much, much prefer these to just like a sweatshirt. I like the way that you can like slouch them off your shoulder. You could wear a little bralette underneath. You could wear them loose over like a little dress. And this one is so like such a soft, fluffy knit. Again, I massively sized up in this because I just want my knitwear huge. I got a 14 to 16 just so it's super cozy. It's so my vibe so let me style it up for you so this is a cardigan on I actually love just how slouchy and like oversized it is and because it's quite a like a thin but cozy knit it's really easy just to like tuck in some high-waisted jeans and just give you this kind of like slouchy oversized cardigan fit on top I also love that it just like you know chucks off the shoulder the sleeves are gorgeous glad I got the big size because it just makes it super Super slouchy. Okay, nothing says autumn like a shacket. It's like a longer length. It's, I just love a shacket hoodie trainers. Like it's such a nice outfit to wear in autumn when it's like starting to get cold, but you don't need like a big waterproof coat. So let me style it up and show you it on. This is the shacket on, such a nice length. A black misguided hoodie underneath as well. And again, the t-shirt is so important. Without this t-shirt under, the hoodie, it just doesn't kind of like pull together the same. The coated leather jeans, Doc Martens, and another gorgeous, comfy, warm, casual, layered autumn outfit. I really liked the look of this on the website. It's like a black, like padded puffer coat, but it's got like this cinched in waist. I did get a size 10, so I could put a hoodie underneath it. This is for one of those days when I just want to be super casual, minimal, and just wear an all black outfit, but still be warm and practical. And I have high hopes for this, so let's pop it on. So this is the coat on. It is actually so nice. It feels really like casual because it's only like padded and it's not really structured, but at the same time, it kind of, because it's like cinches you in at the waist, it kind of feels like quite feminine and girly and kind of dressed up in a casual way, if that makes sense. But I've just put it again with like the black misguided hoodie underneath, coated jeans and then boots. And again, this is just such a nice little all black autumn outfit. I am in love with this coat. So my number one hack when it comes to autumn and if you are wearing knitwear or even sweatshirts with like leggings, sometimes if you just put a sweatshirt and leggings on it, it can look a little bit naff and it doesn't feel like a really put together outfit and I have one hack for you which is going to change your outfits forever. You need a white oversized like long boxy t-shirt to lay it under it's gonna make such a difference to your outfit so I had to include a white t-shirt and these misguided ones are always so good I've had them before it's like a big oversized boxy fit and they're a nice long length and it's just gonna like just slightly cover your hair give the illusion of a little bit more length and it's just gonna be so much more flattering when it's on and let me show you what I mean so this is the outfit without the t-shirt, it kind of looks okay, but it kind of looks a little bit boring and a little bit frumpy. And then if you just add that layer, it makes such a difference. It just pulls the whole outfit together and just makes it a little bit more comfortable, casual, and just more of a look. <laughs> and this is the t-shirt on, a really nice boxy fit, a really nice length. So it just covers my bum, it covers my hip, and it's just the perfect layering piece that is an essential in my wardrobe for autumn. So to wear with my new t-shirts and leggings, I wanted a sweatshirt. This is already an oversized fit. I got a size medium. I did want it really big. So I'm just gonna wear this like now with cycle shorts and then as the weather gets colder with leggings and leather pants, marl gray, and let me show you it on. So this is a really easy outfit to put together and the white t-shirt again just makes it that little bit more flattering and a little bit more pulled together rather than just a sweatshirt and leggings sometimes can feel a little bit messy and a little bit not really like a proper outfit. And again, just is such an easy little look to wear. 
I couldn't do a haul, an autumn haul, without finding you girls an amazing puffer jacket. I loved that it's khaki. It's still gonna go with my neutral wardrobe. It's gonna go with all my blacks, all my greys, my denim. So thick. And this material is so nice. It's not waterproof. It's more like showerproof. They also do it in loads of other colours as well. So let's try it on. This coat is so nice on. I'm telling you though, it is so warm. I'm so hot now I've put this on with a hoodie. So it's definitely a really good one for colder days. So big, big thumbs up for this one. I also really wanted to get a new pair of denim jeans. They're just like a normal mid blue and I just wanted minimal like distressing on them. I got a size six short. I'm only five foot four. Let's pop them on and see what they're like. So these are the jeans on, they actually fit so good. Super high-waisted and really like suck you in all around your tummy and your waist. The rips are exactly what I wanted, not too much, just that really slight little rip. So I'm happy with these jeans. And how gorgeous is this? Maybe, I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera, it's like black and it's this thick hand-knitted, like it's like a jumper version basically of this cardigan. And I just thought, this is gonna get so much wear. I absolutely love like the big oversized sleeves. I got a size 18, I wanted it really big. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean and why you should always size up on your knitwear. I really love this as well. And again, I'm so glad I got it in the bigger size. I just think it looks so much more expensive. And you cannot go wrong with a big, slouchy, oversized knit. You will get so much wear out of it. But it is so nice on. I absolutely love this. And I'm really glad I sized up because I love how big it is. An outfit also that I absolutely love in autumn is a black blazer. And I saw this and I was like, this sounds like a very, very good idea. So it's basically a blazer coat. So I'm thinking all black outfit, hoodie, leggings, boots. Just, I got a size 10, it's super soft. Let's pop it on and see how it looks. This looks so much more expensive than misguided. And also I feel like it's gonna be really warm. Like I've got a hoodie underneath this and it just feels so cozy. So I've got a hoodie, white t-shirt, coated jeans again. Such a wearable, versatile piece to have in your wardrobe and Really, really loving this. I feel like this is gonna get so much wear in autumn and winter. I also know how much I live in leggings when I especially love these ones that have like the slits or the zips in the ankles. So I saw these and these are slightly different to the leather ones, they're like a jersey one. They do have like this ring on the waist. I'm not gonna see that bit, so I'm not like too bothered because that's not really something I would usually wear. And let me show you why. And they're perfect for these kind of outfits, like just a really casual everyday outfit, but the slit in the leg just makes such a difference. They're so high-waisted. So I've got them pulled right up and they have these little cutouts, but if you didn't actually want that, you would never see them. It's really comfy and these actually don't feel like uncomfortable on the waistband either. I also got this coat, which is like a long, more formal kind of coat, but I kind of thought this gray was gonna be slightly different. It's more like a, like a bluey, icy gray, and I was expecting it to be more of a toned down gray, but we're gonna do something with it and see how it looks. I did get a size 10, it's fully lined, it feels super soft, it feels nice quality to be fair. So let's put an outfit together and see how it is. So what, I wasn't quite sure on the color, but now I've put it on with some more gray. I feel like it kind of tones it down a little bit. I don't know, I'm still not 100% sure. I think I might swap it for a different color because they basically had this coat in loads of different shades. I mean, it's nice, it's such a nice coat. I just don't know, what do you think girls? Let me know, should I keep it? Or should I send it back? Let me know in the comments. Homeware, I didn't even know Misguided did homeware, but let me tell you, some of these things are so cute. I kind of popped them behind me so you can actually see what they would look like styled up. So let's have a little look. So the first thing that I got was this bedding. I got it in a single for Effie. It's basically all of the neutral tones. And then it has this really gorgeous, you know, like the face prints. How cute is that? Because her room's quite neutral. How cute is this? You can never have enough baskets, can you? So I think I'm either going to put this in the living room and pop a few, few blankets in it, or maybe I'm going to pop it next to our fire in the lounge and like my Kindle and things like that. I picked up these gorgeous vases, like how amazing are these? And they look so nice with pampas in, don't they? This cute little vase to go with it, just paired with other little bits and bobs and little knickknacks and candles. Couldn't believe it was so misguided. 
this really cute black candlestick I'm gonna get like some of those really nice like twirly um, tall candles to go in it they actually had some on this guided I should have picked them up from that and then I got this which I thought was so gorgeous it's like a really gorgeous neutral little dish that would be perfect for like storing um, bits of jewelry and things like that in I thought it'd be really nice to have on your bedside table to like pop your rings in your watch things like that at night when you take them off I just thought it was so pretty so so lovely I also got the vase in this gorgeous nude color which I think is my favorite they don't come with the pampas but how cute do they look so we have come to the end of these autumn outfits I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that I've given you some ideas of things that you can add into your autumn wardrobe and style up if you do put some of these outfits together make sure you tag me on Instagram send me your pictures I love to see them and you can shop everything in the description box and I will see you again for some more autumn styling very, very soon. I love you all. Bye.